consider a system, maybe a hydraulic cylinder, where you need to optimize control parameters to satisfy certain design requirements. Now let us see how you can do it using Simulink. You can do it using response optimization. In response optimization, you can optimize model response to satisfy design requirements such as time domain, frequency domain, custom constraints, and cost function. Having said that, let's check out an example which will show you how to use this tool. So here is an example of a single hydraulic cylinder where we need to find a cross-sectional area and spring constant provided that the design requirements are to achieve certain rise time, settling time, maximum cylinder pressure, and minimize cylinder cross-sectional area. Now there are two options through which you can define the design requirements. First is finding the blocks in the library browser and second is using the graphical user interface. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use the graphical user interface. To know more about how to use the library browser, we have provided a link of an example in the description. Having said that, now let us check how to use the response optimization graphical user interface. First, we click on apps and then click on response optimizer. Now, the first job is to select the design variables which we need to optimize. So, in the design variables set tab, we select cross sectional area and spring constant and define the initial values and maximum and minimum values and also the scale. Further, we go ahead and define the signals which we want to lock. We select signal from new requirement source. First one is a piston position and second one is a pressure. Now you can see that all the design variables which we have defined and the signals that we want to log are under the data tab. Now let's go ahead and check out how to define the design requirements. So as per the first design requirement, we need to define the rise time and the settling time which we do it using step response envelope. So in this window, we define the required values and then we select the signal for which these values are defined. Similarly, we define the bounds for the pressure by defining the values in the signal bound. Now let's see how to define the custom objective function where we need to minimize the cylinder cross-section area. For that, we select custom requirements. Then as the requirement is to minimize the function output, we select minimize the function output and we select the default function. It will open up where you can see certain guidelines to build your own custom function. So in the same function file, we have defined our objective function. Now, here you can see that all the design requirement plots are visible in the app. Now, when you run the optimization, you can see that all the design requirements are met and the optimization is converged. Please note that the black line in the plots show the response of the last iterations. Now, to check the optimal values of area and stiffness, you can click on the design variable. So this was an example to show you how to find the optimal parameters for a system under certain design requirements. Please use this how-to video as a reference for your project and do check out all the resources given in the description. Thank you.